the action plan that we implemented based on the study was really about passing on the information that we gathered from victims of human trafficking, from stakeholders, uh, from sex workers, from victims, from survivors, and empowering the community as well as uh, survivors. We found that anyone that is vulnerable to being socially excluded or marginalized in some way can and is uh, at risk of being trafficked. And we did find that disproportionately affected, and not surprisingly, were youth. So we spent the four days with them creating this, these great three videos and then making it into a documentary. And that's really resonated, it seems, with the youth. And it speaks to them on a different level than if we were just sitting in front of the classroom uh, teaching something. Our film is about the knowledge that people have of human trafficking. We had decided that we were actually going to go out and talk to people to see if they knew a lot or if they didn't know. People should watch this film because it will open their eyes to what is happening in their backyard. They went from not really understanding what human trafficking means to having a very clear concept of what it means and what can be done about it. And I think one of the strengths of that project also was that the youth brought their own ideas, not only about how to engage their own demographic, but also others in, in the community in Ottawa. We would work with survivors or victims of human trafficking, and they would really say to us, you're giving us a voice, thank you. And that felt really empowering, uh, that we were giving uh, some of these victims that felt like they were not being listened to, that are being silenced, a place to be heard and, uh, and a platform to see what can we really do about this. Et uh, en travaillant ensemble, nous avons accompli uh, quelque chose d'important pour les victimes de la traite de, 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 des personnes. Le, le, le sens de, de justice nous pousse à offrir la main en aide. And that was just really inspiring that people are there for a greater cause of you know, uh, preventing these human rights abuses and creating more gender equality. And that's why I like the fact that it's a community award because it was really community effort that has made this as successful as it can be.